who's ever ridden a track or a trail knows the insufferable torment of arm pump. It's something that affects everyone from beginner to pro, except for the select few who claim they never get it, which I'm not totally sold on. Even the very best in the world claim they get it from time to time. There are the usual tips to help, use your legs more, open up your breathing, set your levers properly. But what if you're a weekend warrior and you don't have time to work on all these things day in and day out? What if you wanted a quicker solution? There are several products out there claiming to help. Everything from the forearm strong to this arm massager thingy. So I set out to systematically try products and theories and sort out fact from fiction. And how are you to know which products actually work? Which is why I've started this new video series on finding an arm pump solution. What's up everybody, I'm Mitch. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Fit for Moto, and another great episode. In episode number one of this new series, we're gonna look at a product called Stegs Pegs. Now, these can just bolt right onto your bike and they do claim to help with some arm pump. We'll see how easy that installation actually is and then after that, we'll get out to the track, we'll give them a test run, and I'll give you my thoughts on them. With all that said, roll that intro so we can get started. I came across this product a few years ago. I saw them on another bike at my local track. They definitely catch your eye as they aren't something you would normally see. They were actually invented by a former Australian motocross champion named Steve Smith. He suffered arm pump early in his career and invented these as a solution. He quickly discovered that these seemed to help, so they went into production. Mounted on a metal bracket, the product claims to help by using these rubber pucks. The brackets mount to the bike and help the rider hook their boots using your legs, pushing back against any hard point on the bike to take the weight of acceleration instead of your hands and arms. Seems legit, but so does the price. Now there are various dealers that sell them, but they aren't cheap. $155 US, if they don't provide a solid improvement in arm fatigue, that's an expensive item to get thrown in the junk drawer. Installation is easy as each set is made specifically for your bike and there are only so many ways that they can be mounted to your make and model. Interestingly, on the KTM, they have to be moved so you can change your air filter. So if you ride often like myself and change your air filter after every ride, this can be a bit of a pain. Also notable, once you're mounting them, make sure you don't tighten them down too much. Doing that will actually bend the bracket itself and probably make the product a little less useful. Once they're mounted, all that's left is to try them. So, we've got them bolted on, that seemed pretty easy. All that's left to do is to try them out. Let's get out to the track, give these things a whirl. With the first leg over the bike, they were noticeable. You could quite easily feel the pucks behind your boots and it took a bit of getting used to, but so did the help. The helps that the pucks provided was substantial. Both with the seated and the standing positions, the pegs assisted with some of the strain off your arms as they advertise. When seated, they help greatly with the long pulling sections of the track. Those combined with being seated on the bike take a large amount of strain off your arms, making it a whole lot easier to really pull down the long straightaways. If you're like me and often forget to focus on using the power and controlling your legs, when standing, it's even more noticeable. Not only do they help with arm strain, but they provide overall control of the bike. They allow you to be more in tune with the bike through your legs, which means more confidence through many obstacles. Now, there are some parts on them that are going to wear. For around $35 US, you can get a replacement parts for your pegs, which is a good thing, as the rubber pucks particularly do wear over time. And they're not the only thing that wear. One thing I didn't expect was the wear it would cause on my boots. Where the rubber puck meets the boot, it seems to pull and pry at the stitching. Eventually, it pulls the rubber pad away from your boot. The downside to that, of course, is that at $300 to $1,000 a pair, depending on the boots you buy, that's a steep price to consider when you need to replace them more often. So they do work, but they also make your boots wear just a little bit faster and they are kind of pricey. So what's the overall verdict? I love them, I'm gonna run them all the time. And as a matter of fact, for the help that they give me with reducing arm fatigue, helping me control the bike with my legs, I'm willing to let my boots wear a little bit faster for it. 
If this product seems like something that you're interested in, I'm gonna put the link below and where you can get yourself some. I hope you liked the video, I hope it helped you in some way. If so, smash that subscribe button for me, you know I appreciate it. Stay safe, ride safe, try and keep your arm pumped down. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.